Yesterday, we reviewed the movie uh, The Breakfast Club. And I was afraid to review The Breakfast Club on our program because often we watch a movie and I, I forget or I, I never realized how ugh, icky it was and how cringy it was. Like we watched uh, 16 Candles and oh my gosh, there is some just horrible stuff in that movie. So I didn't want to do this to Breakfast Club because it meant so much to me and it's such an important movie and I watched it so many times and it was, I, I'm like, I don't want to lose my connection to it of it being a beautiful memory. I mean, Simple Minds became my favorite band after I you know, heard the opening credits of that movie. And I was about junior high when it came out. And so in rewatching it, I was pleasantly surprised that a lot of it is still great. That being said, the John Bender character, I remember watching it and he's very forward and competent and sexually, uh, he, his, his sexual come-ons are a little over the top and it was humorous. In watching it now, he is straight up sexual harassment, like overt crossing the line. And so that was a little hard to be like, oh God. Um, I mean, the first thing, as soon as, <laughs> the first thing he says to the other students is, let's get the prom queen impregnated. Like, basically a date, I mean, like a, a, a gang rape joke. <laughs> However, the rest of this movie, and it, it, I understand why it meant so much to me, is that it, it, it starts off with these seemingly two-dimensional characters, the jock, you know, the weirdo, the prom queen, the stoner, and then, and it does a great job of like showing like the car that they arrived in, what their parents are like, what their clothes are like, what their food is like. So it's like, you're totally like putting them in a box. And then as you start to hear their stories, you realize each one of them is the product of their environment, of their trauma, of their upbringing. And I love this idea of, of, expanding our awareness of, of any human being to, to include their history, their trauma, their triggers. Everyone is, every one of the people in this movie is doing the best they can with what they got. And there's a time in the movie when um, the, the weirdo says, we have no choice but to become like our parents. And it's said with tears and like, and I think that's really interesting because I don't think that's the same cultural thoughts today. I think today there's so much progress in terms of therapy and trauma work that I think the, the general thought today is we're here to do the work on ourselves to heal our ancestral wounds so that we don't repeat the patterns of our past. And so as I'm watching this movie and recognizing that this was kind of a, a, a significant film because it did go from two-dimensional characters to three-dimensional characters with trauma and backstories. And then I think the today version of The Breakfast Club includes t them growing up and taking the steps to heal themselves and raise kids that are free from those past traumas and of course have new traumas. But yeah, I thought it was a really, I, I still think it's a, a great film. As long as you have the awareness that Yes, John Bender is, uh, his behavior is unacceptable.